Well, hello everybody and welcome to Makeup for Dummies. Okay, so I know I've been gone for a while and I apologize for my abs absence. However, if you want to know where I have been, then it's best to be subscribed to my blog channel called Eyes Right Now. And that way you can get all the gory details as to what's been going on with me personally and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I come on here today to do a makeup look. Now I'm a little rusty because it's been a while. So bear with me, but I'm going to I'm going to attempt to do a cranberry uh, makeup look. Um, so the color of the day is going to be pomegranate. So if you could think of cranberry juice, cranberry juice is kind of like a, a dark wine, a dark burgundy wine color. So I don't have a lot of jewelry in that neighborhood. It's, it's sort of like this kind of color burgundy. So I did the best I can. This is the closest that I could get to burgundy as far as accessories. So let's just get started. I have all my makeup that I'm going to be using in this bag just to save time. Um, I already have a foundation. So the only thing that I'm going to do, because I've had it on all day, is I'm just going to put some powder on it. Okay? Just to get the shine off of it. And then, you know, we're just going to go from there. Okay? So I'm going to turn this little light on so that I can get started. So I'm going to be moving kind of fast because I don't want to make the video too long. I'm going to try to attempt this in at least between 15 to 18 minutes. I'm going to try to attempt this look. Okay? So, here we go. All right. So first I want to start with, let me just pull everything out so that I can just find what I need. Kind of drawing a blank because it's been a while. Okay, I'm going to start with some primer on my eyes, okay? I'm going to start with that. Okay, I'm just going to do like that to my eyebrows. So let's start with some primer. And then we're going to go from there. Okay? So I hope you all have been doing well. Like I said, I apologize for my absence. I'm going to use a little mirror just to get up close and personal. And that way y'all can see me because if I bend all the way in, you won't be able to really see. So this way you can still see what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm rusty. I've been gone away from this channel for, I guess, about three months now. And... The last three weeks has is, is been me brushing up on my little, whatever little skills that I think I have. <laughs> so, just bear with me on that. Okay? Now, I'm just going to take um, some translucent powder. Just to set the... Um, The primer that I just put down. Okay. Alrighty. So now. Let's start off with a. A base color. So I'm going to just show you as I go along what I'm going to be using instead of just showing them all at once, okay? This is the palette I'm going to be using. It's called Boho Vibes by Rue Beauty. I got it from Rue 21, okay? So I'm going to take this color right here and use that as a transition color. I'm sorry if that's way too much light. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that color and use that as a transition color. I 
I think the the window is giving me enough natural light that the actual light in the room is making it way too bright. So hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I think that's better. It was just a little bit too bright. Okay, so let's see. Transition color. That's what I was doing. So I'm going to try to get as close. I tried to pick palettes that had as close to cranberry, burgundy as I could. Okay? All right, so that's that palette. Okay, now I'm going to take... Okay, this is an old palette. It's a Perfusion palette. And I'm going to take this color right here. Okay? And try to... Put this color in my crease area. So like I said, I'm a little rusty. So if I forgot to show you something or wasn't facing the right way or didn't tell you the name of something, I truly apologize. I'm just really rusty. And for the majority of the time, like I said, that I've been gone, I didn't do any makeup on myself. So well, there you have it. So yeah, this color kind of matches the color that I'm wearing, actually, the burgundy. Um, so I'm just going to build that color up a little bit more. Press it right there in the corner. And then just drag it across. So let's see what's next. Um, like I said, I picked a few different palettes that I thought could come close to what I was looking for. Okay, so here's like a cranberry color right here that I'm going to use. And this is from my LA Colors um, palette. I didn't make that too dark by turning the lights out. So I'm just going to go over this just to tone it down just a little bit in case it's too dark. bit of this primer because I want to get a like a lighter color right underneath of the cut crease area that um transition color is actually nice because you can see it a little bit of it underneath of my brow so I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on the lid hold on one second Okay, so I'm priming the lid so that whatever color, oops, that I do put on there, it will um, stand out. All right, put a little bit too much primer on there, but that's okay. We're going to take, I think I'm going to actually take, because I think this color here might not really stand out. This is a nice little burgundy color in this corner. But I don't know if that's going to stand out. Let me just look. Let me just try and see. I think it's just going to be just as dark as the red. Yeah, it is. All right, so I'm going to go back to mixing this transition color and this little light color next to it. 
and see if that'll give me the effect that I want. Okay, so it did. Just gotta go back in. Cause I put a little bit too much primer up here, so just darkening that back in. Okay. So yeah, so I'm mixing these two together. These two. And that stands out a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm just gonna take and I have some blush. It's called Berry Plum by LA Colors. I figured that would would do the trick. As far as the burgundy is concerned. So it's not a hard look, it's it's pretty simple. Now, I'm going to take and line my lips with this brown pencil. And I have two other pencils that are kind of burgundy, okay? So, let me see. That's kind of reddish. Let me try this one. Try to color in my lips with that. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm just going to color my lips then. That's a nice, kind of looks pinkish, but it's on a, a line of burgundy. Okay. Then I have a wine um, gloss or lipstick here. Fill that in there. And then I have another lippy. I'll put the names of these lippies in the description box i'm sorry i'm not on point with the names and all that stuff I, believe it or not i'm actually nervous right now <laughs> i am actually nervous right now seriously all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this little color that i attempted to use at first this is an old perfection palette and i'm gonna put this in my like as an eyeliner Okay, so I did mascara on this eye off camera, and just so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna do this eye on camera. 
like I said, it just saves time. Just trying to spread out my lashes and then run it across the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the light on because I think you could probably see better with the light on. So just hold on one second. Okay, so that's it. This is my cranberry apple. I'm just blending this out a little bit more. Cranberry apple, palm, uh, color of the day, pomegranate. And my little berry plum cheeks. And just to make that shine a little bit more, I'm just going to use a red gloss. It's not going to come off as red, but it's just going to make that burgundy pop a little bit. Okay. All right, so that's it. Okay. Ta-ta. <laughs> so I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's been a while. I apologize. Um, but make sure that you are subscribed so that now that I'm back, when I upload, you will be notified. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will be notified um, of when I upload. And make sure you check out my vlog channel called Eyes Married Now. That way you will know exactly what's going on with me um, when I'm not on the YouTube streets on this channel. Okay? Alrighty, so I'm putting my glasses on. But yeah, that's the look. Okay? Now, for the record, disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a beautician, I'm not a nail technician, I'm not none of those things, okay? I just do me, and I like makeup, and I like playing in it, and I just like mixing colors up and see what I come up with, okay? All right, so there you go. My look of the day. Ting! Bye-bye <laughs> now.